All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. That's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lashwan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And those are titles. That's not His true name. Uh, the true name is Yahweh, and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Uh, Baha Shem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior. He is the Deliverer. Baha Shem in the name. Rakak Hodash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the sincere Akim Wa Athwats. To the sincere brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is the Brother Taz of War Bond, a parium from the GMS Boston Camp. Back with a quick lesson through the Spirit, and I pray everything's edifying. So I got this article from endtimeheadlines.org, and the heading reads The stage is being set for cataclysmic wars in 2025. You know, hey, and this is the time that we're in. You know, that the, in these latter days, evil and only evil is going to take place. Judgment of the Heavenly Father uh, is soon to, is, is, is nigh at hand, you know. And we've been warning you against starting from the apostles, the bishops and elders, and the brothers on down from Great Millstone and the affiliate camps that teach in this gospel that tribulation is going to come. Bad times, wars, rumors of wars, Jacob's trouble, you know, uh, chaos. Doom and gloom, the RFID microchip being made uh, 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 mandatory, you know, uh, you know, World War Three, thermonuclear missiles. Uh, the, this world is about to be in chaos, and, and we've been giving you warning, and it's all biblical prophecy, because that's the time and season that we're in. And us, as a watchman, as a prophet, as a seer of Yahweh Bashem Awashai, we're supposed to uh, to let our light shine before men to be. Uh, uh, to be circumspect, to measure the time diligently, to be occupied in prophecy, and ultimately to give that warning, man. So it behooves you to get right and repent, man, and take heed to who the Lord has set up his servants, the prophets out on the highways and hedges or on in, on these platforms, uploading these epistles, uh, giving you warning, you know. So uh, let's get into it, man. Again, endtimeheadlines.org. The stage is being set for cataclysmic wars in 2025. So real quick. We get the definition of our uh, cataclysmic. It's relating to or denoting a violent natural event. Here's some synonyms. Uh, drast. I don't know why it's not showing, but uh, drastic, causing great damage, catastrophic, a uh, uh, catastrophic. Excuse me. Extremely unfortunate or unsuccessful. Uh, calamitous, you know, evolving calamity, catastrophic or disastrous. I know there was one. I, I remember I read it um, at camp. Let's see. Uh, okay, devastating, violent, awful, terrible, tragic. So that's the times that we're getting into, man. And and, and in this article, it's it's telling you, you know. But ultimately. It's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We've been warning you these things, man. That the uh, uh, the times that we're in is uh, of evil times, man. So real quick, let me get um, Ephesians chapter five. Ephesians chapter five, and I'll start at verse fourteen. And it reads, uh, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and the anointed shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See, so we're in the time that you have to be circumspect, not as fools, but wise, knowing what's going around you, keeping your eyes uh, circumspect, keeping your head on the swivel, uh, knowing the time and season that we're in. You know, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Bad times are, are barking upon us, man. You know, but you do not want to be unwise. But you have to understand that this is the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to bring tribulation, to bring great miseries, to bring plagues upon the earth. 
you know, bringing these wars, tension, chaos, hate, evil. You know, that's the time that we're in. Real quick, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And, and I'll start at the top. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So right now we're in the time where it's going to be a lot of great death, uh, killing, uh, weeping, mourning, uh, uh, people losing lives, losing loved ones, a time of, of, of hate and a time of war. We're not in the time of peace. <clears throat> and this is why you have to measure the time diligently, understand the time and season that we're in. You know, as it says in, uh, let's get it, First Thessalonians. It's not going to catch a watchman, a true man of the Lord is not going to be caught off guard uh, with these events or with these calamities that come because ultimately he's that watchman that's paying attention. He's doing the work. He's being occupied in prophecy. You know, he's being circumspect. He's measuring the time diligently, you know. So this is not going to catch him as a thief. But those that don't take heed to this warning, that don't pay attention, you scoff and you scorn and you just think it's all make-believe or we're fear mongers. You don't really think that uh, uh, the Most High and His only begotten Son is going to come through with bad times. Hey, man, it's going to catch you off guard. So real quick, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. <clears throat> See, so we of the know, you know, the hopeful elect, the the, the prophets, the uh, the seers, you know, we we are in the uh, in in the light because we are occupied. We have this this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know. And the Lord uh, opened up our eyes to see these things, to hear these things. So we are constantly on the ready. It says, "Blessed is he that readeth." Uh, blesses that servant when, uh, So when the Lord cometh So fine so doing Roughly paraphrase I believe that's Matthew 24 Lord will I get that So we're not in darkness as others <clears throat> We're not drunk as others Real quick Let me continue on uh, But ye brethren are not in darkness That that day should overtake you as a thief Ye are all the children of the light And the children of the day We are not of the night We are or nor of darkness Therefore let us not sleep as do others But let us watch and be sober for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. And this referring to, you know, uh, 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 the drunk is being uh, lost in the sauce, in darkness, not paying attention, you know, not being diligent, not being sober. Ultimately, uh, 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 following after these different philosophies, which is the wine that's according to the scriptures. It's not really referring to, you know, being inebriated off tequila or, 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 or any type of alcohol beverage, you know. But real quick, let me get, um, let me open up the blue letter. Uh, what was that? Uh, First Thessalonians, right? First Thessalonians chapter uh, five. Yep. Yep. Um, and I know Elder Moss at camp had had us uh, go through this, go over, uh, you know, about camp uh, with the word for sober. Uh, to be sober, to be calm and collected in spirit, to be temperate, to be circumspect. And I read that in, in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, man, the time that we're in, you know, you have to be circumspect, man. You can understand it, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So you got to be aware of what's going on. You know, you got to be able to be a watch, a watchman. You got to pay attention. So that's, you know, that's the uh, 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 the meaning of being um, um sober, you know. But we know the darkness or drunk is those that's falling off the, you know, falling after different philosophies, worshiping different gods, you know, different gospels, uh, you know, just going off the even though the, the ways of, of 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 the wicked of Babylon, the great 
in, 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 in his ways. It says, um, in Micah, this place is polluted. It will destroy you with a sore destruction. It's polluted in all aspects, man. There's nothing but distractions, folly, that will keep you uh, distracted from not knowing what time that we're in. That's why you're in the dark. You know, gross darkness to people, as according to Isaiah, you know. But we are of the light. We have to be able to be watching and, 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 and sober, man. Circumspect. So we can uh, uh, give you the news. Give you these uh, 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 the prophecies, you know, to be a watchman. Because the Lord said all hell going to break loose. He's going to bring plagues upon the earth. The sword, the famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So this article is showing you that, hey, man, it's nothing but it's going to be hard times. Violent uh, 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 wars, man. But let's get into it. While the mainstream media focus our attention on the upcoming election, the stage is being set for an un for the unthinkable. Chess pieces are in motion all over the planet, and global leaders continue to drag us in directions that we should not want to go. If everyone truly understood where current events were taking uh, uh, were taking us, there would be massive protests in every major city right now. The comfortable lifestyles. That so many of us take for granted are about to be shattered. The U.S. could soon find itself involved in several major wars simultaneously. And we are definitely not prepared for such as a scenario. See, and that's why it's important to, 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 to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh To repent, seek him ten times more so you could be occupied. Because we know when all hell breaks loose, because it's low, it will come. These judgments, these prophecies. You have to have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Real quick, Isaiah 33 and um, 6. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. See, so this wisdom, knowledge, was going to keep you stable uh, when all hell breaks loose. There's going to be a time like no other. You know, we know that many great miseries is going to come in these latter days of 2 Ezra 8 and... um. 8 and 50, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So this is not a time or season of love, peace, and happiness. It says many great miseries shall be done to them uh, 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 that in, in the latter time, in these end times, in the, dwell in the world. Throughout the four corners of the earth, calamity, plagues, destruction is coming. And because people walked in great pride because they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know. They don't think that, that this can be ordained from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. But let's get it. Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not their imaginations against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Hey, we're not going to let the, 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 the non-believers, you, you faithless uh, uh, beings... You know, uh, uh, try to sway the the those that believe into uh, not teaching this word. We're gonna stand ten tones down and what we truly believe in. You know, as in Second Ezra, the second chapter, uh, the Lord, uh, well, Ezra saw you know the the the, the that that young man in high stature setting crowns upon those men that stood stiffly for the name of Yah Bashem Yahushai, that stood stiffly for this gospel, man, that preached the word, man. Continuing on, verse 4, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So these plagues that's coming are going to be cataclysmic, you know, catastrophic of biblical proportions. This is the times that we're in. It says in 2025, but it's been happening. We're in the beginning of sorrows, you know, it's happening day by day, man. Great judgment is going forth, man, because the Lord said he was going to bring great miseries in these latter days, man. So we warning you. We warn you. These articles are lining up with the prophecies. It's lining up with the with the doctrine, with the gospel that we that we uh, spew. You know, we're not here giving you warning or uh, we're not here telling you about everything's going to be all right. Love, peace and and, and happiness. And prosperity, man. We're here to tell you that the sword is coming. The judgment of the Heavenly Father is about to take place. His indignation, his righteous anger is about to be uh, uh, prevalent throughout the world. And you're going to know that it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. 
And even if you don't believe in those names, you're going to know it's of a higher power that's bringing all this chaos throughout the world, man, because this is his will, man. That's why I read in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, be not uh, 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 unwise of not understanding what the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is, man. Because things are speeding up. Days are getting shorter because the Lord is doing it for the elect's sake. Real quick, Matthew 24. And um, I'll get straight to the point. Where is it at? Uh, 24. Con. <clears throat> Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake. Those days shall be shortened. See, so things is 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 moving at a rapid rate. Ultimately, it's for the elect, the elect of Israel, the hundred and forty-four thousand, twelve thousand out of each tribe uh, uh, of the tri 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 twelve tribes of Israel. Excuse me, you know those. That's the governing body, and then the one third all together. The Lord is speeding things up for the elect's sake. And we know once the election is sealed, then the end shall come. Then, you know, all these type of destructions, calamities, but it's happening. We're here giving you warning. And now, you know, the mainstream media is speaking on it, you know, and everything's always of the biblical proportion. Heavy judgments coming. Those that do not seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are going to be put to death, man. It's it's plain and simple, you know. There's no, no, no ands, ifs, or buts, or maybes, man. If you don't get down with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and you got to be a Hebrew Israelite. You got to be ultimately part of the elect. The Lord is going, you know, is going to deliver the the elect. But those other nations and two thirds of our people and heathens are going to cut off and die. You know, especially here in America, destruction is coming to Babylon the Great, aka America, man. Real quick, uh, Matthew twenty four, because I quoted it earlier. Uh, Matthew twenty four, and um, I'll start at forty. I'll start at 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what your what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. For then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give and them meet in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. See, so you got to be ready to be watching, to pay attention, to be occupied, to be circumspect. As I read earlier, to be sober, as according to First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, man. You'll be a faithful and wise servant because you're paying attention. You're being occupied in prophecies, man. Verse 47, verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But if, but and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him in his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And that's the judgment. So though anybody that's telling you don't worry about or don't speak on the plagues or don't speak on uh, or wars and rumors of wars or don't speak on evil or bad times or judgment of the Lord, you know, you are you are an are, are, are evil servant. You're not considered as wise and faithful, man. And the Lord's going to uh, uh, appear to you as a thief in the night because you're not paying attention. And ultimately, you're doing the work of the Lord deceitfully, man, you know. So, hey, man, we're here to give you the true, uh, uh, the true uh, um, gospel, man. We're here to warn you that these times are, are barking upon us as about to be evil times. And I'll close out with this, um, Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. And it reads, uh, uh, Ezekiel 7, and um, I'll start at the top. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh unto the land of Israel, and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense, 
and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. And my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. And thus said the Lord Yahweh, an evil and only evil, behold, is come. And evil, uh, the end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold, it come. It, it is come. See, so the only evil times is coming in these latter days. So it behooves you to get right, repent, seek after your Yahweh Shem Shah ten times more, man. Because we, we, hey, it's only going to get uh, 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 worse from here, man. So uh, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors again to the apostles, the bishops, the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada, the house of David, the elect. And until next time, I want to say Shalom.